like me. And today we are checking out some people who got really lucky with food. Okay, this literally never happens. Who this dude pulled out a monster Dorito. Why does that look like a cool ranch Dorito? He pulled out of the red bag. They forgot to trim the chip. That kind of looked like a chicken nugget. Do they just start out as like a triangular prism and then they start chopping it up into little bitty pieces? Okay, but I want to see you take a bite out of that thing. Like is the entire thing crunchy or is it a little soft and soggy on the inside? Someone found this silliest looking eggplant. It's got a face. A little button nose. I cannot eat anything that is giving me this look. Like why the long face? The look of disappointment upon the human race when they find out what the eggplant emoji really means. This is the biggest ice cream cone ever. It's not just a small hand for comparison. It's a very long cone. Pop that on my head when I'm done, use it as a party hat. Now the cone is the best part of the ice cream. This is my last day, so I stole from McDonald's. What do you mean you stole from McDonald's? Bro has a trunk full of buns. What are you gonna do with thousands of buns? You know, I really hope you're gonna donate all that. Pop it in the freezer. Oh, I see you got a box of them fries. Gonna be eating nothing but fries and stale buns for the next six months. Now, what about the quarter pounders? I would've snatched those. That's that good meat. You know, this got me wondering, how much buns do they keep in the back? It's like SpongeBob where they got one of those like burger vaults. There is this restaurant where you can order giant food, like a ginormous croissant and a cappuccino the size of France. So it easily feed a family of six. I never thought I'd be saying this, but that is a little too much croissant. BRB buying a lottery ticket because every single egg they pop open, double yolk. There is no way. I, I thought it was like super rare to have a double yolk, but then they keep getting it like every egg in this carton is a double yolk. That's a lot of egg. My dad wanted to see Paris. Oh, this is the restaurant. He got the giant croissant. Why don't you just dip it into this giant cup? Hey, what do you do? Just take a bite out of it and be like, I'm full? Have leftovers for the next three months? Okay, this looks like a regular strawberry, right? And then you turn it to the side. That is a monster berry. I wonder how these things grow. It's like conjoined quadruplets. Like five berries grown into one. Is this what GMOs do? When your sis works at Starbucks, they just give you the pastries at the end of the day? Now y'all are swimming in free sandwiches and pastries? No, I love this. When they actually let the employees keep the food rather than throwing it out, more companies need to be doing this. Because there are so many donut and food shops. At the end of the day or when the food gets too old, they just literally just throw it all in the dumpster and it's so wasteful. Yeah, whole family gonna be eating good. What? One, two, three, four, five. I ordered a triple cheeseburger. And somebody can't count. You know, double cheeseburger usually means two. She got five patties. You know, usually they're real stingy with the meat. That's five times the protein. I'm not gonna lie, that looks delicious. Oh, I wanna go to one of these Turkish ice cream places so bad. The ice cream looks so stretchy. Like, look at that. Why isn't it melting? What is it made of? Like, you see the consistency on this? And then he just dipped it into chocolate. And it's just gonna stay like that. That is quite the cone. Now, why you gotta beat it like that? You smack it around a bit. The ice cream tastes better when it's traumatized. That is a monstrous melon. Two melons conjoined in one. Pop it open. I wanna see what it look like. <laughs> like a booty. Should cut it the other way. Spread his little melon cheeks. <laughs> like where are they getting these from? I have never walked into a grocery store and seen one of these franken melons. Y'all gotta go to auction for this? Sell it to the highest bidder? They ask for extra pickles. Oh yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. I don't want one of those little side containers. Nah, let me get that cup. That's a lot of pickles. Basically gave him an entire jar of pickles for free. Like, oh, you want extra pickles? I got you. Only pickle lovers will understand. I asked the guy in the deli if he could give me a sample of one of these, one of these potato wedges. You can ask the deli for a sample? A little tiny sliver, you know? Look at this. Whoa. This is a sample. He hooked me up. Mini grazing meal number four. All that's missing is my eating station and something amazing to watch. It was so big she had to take the leftovers to the car. <laughs> She barely ate any. Some say she's still munching on that fry. Here, reheating the leftovers for a week. All kit and no cat. Has no freaking cat in it. So it's a no piece of chocolate. Ugh. The hell? The whole thing? No wafer. They just forgot to put the wafer in? That's just a piece of chocolate. 
She was doing a video <laughs> flipping the sandwich. She was like, wait for it, wait for it. Snatched that sandwich right into his plate. Like it was in the air for a hot second. Like that's no man's land for food. If you toss a blueberry up in the air and somebody catches it before it goes in your mouth, that's their blueberry. The rules are the rules. There is this ice cream sundae that you can order that is taller than most toddlers. It's like 10 different cones stacked up on top of each other. That doesn't even look real. You know, where do you even start with this thing? This is the leaning tower of treats. Pop one thing out, the whole thing comes crumbling down. I was about to have a magnum and then I felt something weird. So I decided to open it. Well, yeah, you were gonna eat it. What is it? Prize. Oh, they give you a little extra half. You know, buy one ice cream, get a free hat. That's like a little extra treat. You know, I've seen this a lot. These prepackaged ice cream, it just comes with like an extra piece. Cut a little extra off. Ain't nobody gonna complain about that. Just Karen trying to stay under her daily caloric intake. How dare you tempt her with an extra treat. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> That is a meaty glizzy. The glizzy of all glizzies. <laughs> Why is it so girthy? Don't let your boyfriend see this video. I wouldn't even know where to start. You're gonna have to pull out the fork and knife for this one. Look at the size of this Kit Kat. But does it have the wafer inside? Oh, they come in all sorts of colors. Oh, that's the good stuff in there. I thought it was just gonna be chocolate. Nah, it's got the wafer too. Oh, that looks so good. Five Minute Crafts gone crazy with a Kit Kat mold. My mom started growing a lemon tree in our yard and look at the size of them. Okay, don't tell nobody, but my neighbors have one of these trees where it literally grows lemons. I'm not even exaggerating. Like the size of my head. They have them in their front yard. I'm not a fan of human interaction. So I will do anything but talk to my neighbors. So at night, I drove up to the tree. I snatched a couple of them. They weren't eating them. How are you gonna have such gorgeous large lemons just sitting in your front yard? When I tell you I zested one lemon, fed me for a month. It do have a lot of seeds in it though so like I only cut it from like the side to avoid all the seeds in the middle you know this is the only acceptable amount of cream cheese to have in a bagel usually I don't like a ton of cream cheese on anything but a New York bagel slather me up take me in the back of the store drop me in the tub of cream cheese take me out and then slather me with some more this is how you do it I door dashed a salad for my mom and my sister picked it and I ordered it, right? That is a very there large go. salad. It's a serving for one. It's a pretty expensive That's one of those salad, catering you know, boxes. For my mom, so I didn't trip. And this you is sure what they give me. you ordered the right salad? Oh. Oh, look, look it comes with olives. Oh my God. <laughs> You have this salad that will feed 10 people for a couple of days. Oh, but it has olives. Are we gonna completely ignore the size of this thing? That's a party tray. Well, I guess sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you get olives. This dude lives in a neighborhood where the families just leave fruit out by the mailbox. Please help yourself. These are from my garden. That is so nice. Whoa. Yeah, that would take him home too. These are called Buddha hands. I've seen them at the grocery store, so they're just like very oddly shaped lemons, but they don't have any juice on the inside, but people use them for lemon zest and lemon peel. So it's like, if you need a lot of zest, you get a Buddha hand. I bought one of these at the grocery store once, not looking at the price, not knowing how much it cost. I was just like, ooh, funny looking lemon hand. And it was 20 dollars for a single fruit yeah, just because it's a little funny looking that's disrespectful but anyways that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications click click and i just released some new merch we got hoodies shirts tank tops at ogwolfpack.com i'll link it below and subscribe to the wolf pack oh i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys